If you ever struggle to explain what your big idea is or what the idea is behind your product or service and why it's important, well, all you need is a conversational case. That's what we're talking about at onthefly.expert today. I am Tamsin Webster of tamsinwebster.com. Now, to build your own conversational case, you need to know these eight things. So, number one, who are you talking to? What type of person, what's the audience that you typically are working with or speaking to? Number two, what's a common question that they have that you can help them answer? Number three, what is that goal that they're trying to achieve through that question? What's that higher level thing? Profitability, efficiency, something like that. Then fourth, what is it that they are typically focused on when they're trying to answer that question for themselves? What kind of categories of things? Fifth, what do you think they should be focused on instead? What's that new perspective that you think you, they should adopt? Sixth, why do you think they should adopt that? In other words, what is something that you know or believe that they would also readily believe that helps explain why that new perspective holds the potential answer? Seventh, what is that answer? What do you typically recommend for them to do with that new perspective or approach? And then eight, what additional benefit will following that recommended solution or approach get for them? Here's how it all goes together. You say, when I speak with or work with type of audience, they often want to know common question so that they can achieve high level goal. Yet when looking for that answer, they often focus on current perspective or approach rather than on new perspective or approach. Yet I or we believe that fact, belief or discovery, which is why we recommend that's your solution or answer, which not only answers their question, it helps achieve additional key benefit. So for instance, if I were using this today, I would say, you know, when I'm talking with message makers, they often want to know how can they get their idea to stand out powerfully. Oftentimes when they're focused on that, they're focusing on what to say rather than on what it is that people need to hear. And yet, because it's the audience that makes that decision, that's why we recommend, I recommend that you build your audience's case for your idea, which not only helps your idea stand out more powerfully, it gives you a way to make sure that your idea is much more likely to be acted on. Hope that helps. That's the conversational case. I'm Tamsin Webster for onthefly.expert. Enjoy your day.